What's up, kids? What's going on, slave tarts? Hello, YouTube. I still don't have my own uh, catch up, you know, catch line there. Worth a try. Anyway, back to you know the purpose of my channel: silver and precious metal slash numismatic unboxings. So I did put a couple different orders in, and uh, you know. They both came on the same day, even though I ordered them on different days. So I'll start with this box here first. I don't have that trick like Big Stack McGee where it could cut very quickly. If anyone knows how that's done, let me know. Side. Box over there. COA. Not COA. Pack and slip. $444.80. This was a uh, deal that Mr. Vegeta. I hope I'm saying that right. Mr. V, I like to call him the uh, Silver Chats, pointed out. I have to admit, uh, I, I got the same email as him, but, you know, he did put out a video about the email as well. And I hope uh, other folks took advantage of it. It was a great time to take advantage of it, as far as I was concerned. It was a uh, American Silver Eagle uh, deal for... Uh, as many or as little as you want from uh, JM Bullion. And I bought a uh, roll here, I mean, a, you know, a whole tube, I should say, of 2014s for that 440 something dollar price, which is very comparable to deals that were around back in January. But since then, I mean, they were selling these suckers for as high as. Uh, God, like five hundred plus dollars for a tube of bullion ASCs. I'm like, really? I guess one could come out. You know, familiar design. I mean, it's the bullion version. I showed the proof versions of the 2013s the other day, and they were spectacular. And the bullions are nice as well. But, I mean, getting these for just a little, I think we're like 22 and a quarter a piece, which is spectacular for a uh, silver equal price. Anyway, this guy goes back in with his buddies here, along with the other... Uh, Twenty that I bought this year, not coming out. I already put about five of them in uh, air tights. Let's see: one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. God, I can't count them in there. Yeah, I count twenty. So no screw up. Didn't have the same problem as. Uh, I believe it was uh, sharp and shiny with his rounds. Took a little longer than most of our typical dealers. I think I ordered these on, uh, well, you know, this would say it, March 27th. So, 20, eh, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's 12, you know, not even two weeks later. They're here. Not too bad for a check. I remember them being a lot slower with uh, my initial investment of. Silver Eagles back uh, about August last year. My, my silver half dollars, my junk uh, ore that everyone sees on the uh, YouTube channels. So then I got this other order from, if I say the name, everyone's going to know what it is already. I'm just going to say it's a coin place, uh, precious metals place over in the Dallas area of Texas. Just the tease a little longer to the newer folks that may be stumbling across this video. I 
I'll also say not a polite Canadian did a uh, video not too long asking what was wrong with purchasing silver in this form. And I think that's that that right there just gives away what I got here. <laughs> Felt heavier, but it was actually the glue. So here we go. Barbers. You know, everyone has their point of view on these bad boys, these zombucks. Like them or hate them, they're here to stay. So I'll try to handle this close to the rim as possible. It's a lot shinier than I remember the other ones. It's almost like a proof uh, shininess compared to the other ones. The other ones were more of a matte, duller finish from what I remember. I like them. They're going in the, uh, you know, I bought five more. I got five of the first three so far. Going to get five of each for the series. Certainly keep one for the long haul. The other ones, I'm, I haven't really done flipping before, but maybe uh, uh, an appropriate time will come up. But no hurries. So part of a uh, diversification for the next five, ten years. Instead of letting the cash rot in the bank, losing purchasing power. But it is a fun way to do it. And it's been you know, a little while since I've been on the last time. I think it was the coin show. I showed off some other stuff. So I missed you all. And I'm glad to be back. I, you know, I go into the silver chats and this and that, participate some. But I missed uh, you know, doing unboxings there for a little bit. Anyway, you know, there it is. Uh, there is a coin show coming up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in about, I think it's a couple weeks. Silver Hair Stacker's lucky. He has one down in Waco, I think, this weekend. But I'm going to verify. I think it's the same coin show I went to last month, and it was really cool. You know, another opportunity to pick up more numismatics, maybe get some more uh, commemorative half dollars. I mean, those things were awesome. Heck, my namesake. Well, YouTube namesake, whatever. But I'm hoping everyone else is still having as much fun as me doing this. A little bit of, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of thinking there for the last month or so. Money was just being spent, you know, by me just outrageously on uh, automobile, uh, this and that. And now I got the new car and I got the fixed payment and looked at finances and I don't think it's going to affect me too too bad well I don't know I, I really don't have too much more to uh, ponder on in front of you all on this video other than uh, still here still alive still stacking and have a happy uh, day everyone